الحمد للہ والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى علي وصحبه وسلم أما بعد حبت في الله أسأل الله كريم رب العرش العظيم أن يتولنا في الدنيا والآخرة We ask that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the Rabbul Arsh al the, the Lord of the mighty throne, that He blesses us all with good in this life as well as the hereafter, and that He, Tabarak wa ta'ala, protects us in this life as well as the hereafter. Ahabatifillah, from the excellent Adab, or conduct of the believer, is to supplicate for one another. To ask Allah Azza wa Jal to assist one another in khair and in iman and to bless the believers with everything good. I was listening to the sounds and I was watching the clouds and I was thinking about the punishment of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And that these signs, these ayat koniya, should remind us of the punishment of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And should remind us that Allah Azza wa Jal exists. And that He, Tabarak wa ta'ala, should be worshipped alone. And I know that... <clears throat> Many of us don't take the time or don't have the time to reflect. But perhaps these times, due to the COVID and due to the other things, may be a time for us to reflect upon Eliza Joe and to remember him and to supplicate to him and ask him for the peace and serenity and stability that we need in our lives in order to better worship him tabarak wa ta'ala and to ask Allah for all of those things we want and all of those things we need to better serve him because often our eyes are not open and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sends others to help and assist us in obedience to him and in going forward for his sake. And so I thought it would be important to ask my brothers and sisters to ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for us to have success in the Athari Institute. And in every positive endeavor that we strive to do that's pleasing to Allah Azza wa Jal. And may Allah Azza wa Jal, Tabarak wa Ta'ala, bless us and you in all of the positive endeavors that we strive to do. Because nothing can be done without the assistance and favor of Allah subhanahu wa Ta'ala. That that is where our success lies. So we need to ask Him. We need to beg Him. We need to come closer to Him. And we need to remind one another about this immensely beautiful duty, which is to worship Allah Azza wa Jal alone. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the Almighty, to accept our good and forgive our evil. Bless us with ikhlas, with thabat, وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم